What is it about brown trout that let them grow to such great size in such small water? In this creek, for example, trout over 30 inches have been caught. Can you imagine seeing such a thing swim these waters? Because I can't. But I'd like to change that. And besides, you really never know when you might cross paths with a true giant. So let's dive in and explore this trophy trout fishery. Nice fish. Nice brown. Chilling on right under that rock. There we go. Heck of a way to start the day. First fish on the board did not take long at all. 10 minutes or so. I already missed a few strikes. That's the first one that really connected. Really, really solid brown, beautifully patterned up. All the browns are wild in this stream. This creek is gonna be absolutely epic today. Another hit. I'm using a jig streamer today. It seems like I've been getting Quite a bit of reaction strikes to it. Uh, kind of some short striking going on, but we're gonna stick with it. I really like a jig streamer to kind of patrol around these rocks, cast behind rocks, move it upstream, nip it downstream. Very versatile and uh, one of my favorite kind of attractor and general searching patterns. Fish on. my god holy crap that fish just rocketed from the depths ah oh, man i wish i could wish i would have connected to him that was wild i heard the fish in here could be a little finicky but uh so far that has absolutely not been the case and man every brown i've seen has been a really nice size There we go. Ah, dang. Got wrapped up under this log here. I tried to come up a stream and pull him out from under, but that tension of the line, I think it is able to pop the streamer right out of his mouth. Close quarters brown trout fishing. Man, they are just uh, craving that streamer this morning. Let's move on to the next hole. Heck yeah, nice fish. Non-stop action. Wow. Really nice brown. I'm using the uh, Tenkara Rodko Rocky this morning. Good for chucking heavier tungsten nymphs and uh, should be able to handle 
any size brown we find in here. Yeah, wow, freaking awesome fish. Holy crap. Well, that is just a quality, quality fish. Stunning markings, 14, 15 inches long, I'd say. Fought like crazy, just absolutely beautiful. Moving into some proper driftless farm country now. This place does not scream trout to me, but uh, we obviously know they're in here. This creek is spring fed. I wouldn't call it a spring creek, um, but cold, clear spring water does feed this creek. But it's just, a, it's got some interesting topography. Sections of rapids interspersed with like pretty long, pretty stagnant, sandy sections. Muddy, really, silty and muddy. Oh, there, ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> the highs and lows of streamer fishing, huh? I approach this section from upstream and I'm actually working my uh, jig streamer actually as a streamer. A lot of times I'll dead drift it from below the run, you know, cast it upstream and just kind of tight line it down. Oh my gosh. Come on, buddy, you can get it. Connect. Eat it. Oh. Oh my goodness. I think I, I think I hit him that time. He might not be coming back. But uh, yeah, anyways, we're fishing, fishing our streamer as an actual streamer today. But uh, that's, the, that's the pros and cons of streamer fishing, especially in a place with trout density like this. And man, it's like every other cast, you see a trout following your streamer, they'll hit it, they'll flash up on it, but uh, they're not connecting every time, that's for dang sure. When you do work it dead drift style, I think it gives the trout a little more chance to uh, actually eat the fly instead of just purely a reactionary strike. Right in the middle of a farm. Cow patties all around. If only you could smell. It's nice. I grew up in upstate New York and uh, this section of Wisconsin reminds me of where I grew up like to a T. So I'm really, really feeling a lot of nice nostalgic vibes as I fish here. I always wish that I had been into fly fishing back when I lived in upstate New York. Lots of action in this riffle. No connection. We're gonna move downstream. Just another couple hundred feet. Got a, uh, another set of rapids down there. Let's go hit them. Let's see if we can work right along this ledge here where the current's at the fastest. Yep. We can. Dead drifted it too. It's it's really just more effective than working a streamer like a streamer. Nice. Man, they fight so hard in here. Back in along this ledge, see if any other trout are hanging out. It's a really defined feature. Wasn't surprised at all to get a bite there. There's another one. He came off the ledge though, and uh, he was kind of in the deepest part of the channel, right smack dab in the middle. Man, awesome water. My first time in the Driftless, it's, it's been amazing.
easily the best looking spot yet. I want to approach this from down below. I don't want to squander it with an upstream streamer presentation. It drops off massively right here. I'm gonna work the edge right between the fast water and the slow. I could see a big trout hanging in here. Nothing right off the bat. I'm letting my uh, streamer sink in this hole here. Completely slack. Let's work it back up a little bit. See if we can move any fish. Hmm. I don't know, I thought, it, thought I felt something there. Maybe not. I'm shocked. Shocked. <laughs> Where are they at? Man, that's crazy. I thought there'd be a fish here for sure. I mean, there definitely are. Just gotta find them and catch them. And guess what I'm saying is, I thought I already would've caught one. All right, well, that's that. Let's move on to the next hole. How cool is that? He was right where he was supposed to be in this beautiful pool. Look at this flower is up perched on a boulder across the way there. Kind of like this like cool, silty blue aquamarine color. Birds singing in the forest. Cool breeze. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Might be the prettiest one yet, too. Jeez. Oh, yeah. There we go. Another nice brown. This has been an incredible day. Well, I think it's about time that I kept moving along. There's thousands of miles of water here in the Driftless and uh, Today I got to explore a pretty special chunk of it. Wild brown trout with stunning coloration, decent size, and there was just so many cooperative fish today. Um, truly a day to remember. I appreciate you guys watching so much. It means a lot to me, it really does. And um, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to watch me pursue more big brown trout in a Western setting, click the video above. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.